Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger for that semicolon over there. Go ahead and write seconds dot text, sorry, dot final score. I don't know if we wrote that, did we? Yes, we did. Okay. Um, fine. That is not it. Oh, that's why it's just second. Um, now we can write the final score, which is for some reason not there. If I am a final score, score, final score. Let's just ignore this uh, for the moment in the time being um, and get along with this. Um, go ahead and write the finishing so, which is self, self, not self, present model view controller. And that model view controller is second. Animate it is yes, so we can see it, not no. Let's change this so we can see it. Yes. And that's it for that. Go ahead to the next line, and I'll scroll that down. And looks like we are at the end, so go ahead and write the last one, which is IV action. Um, plus. Open up the braces and close, of course. Go ahead and write the counter, not count, equals counter plus one uh, semicolon. Next line, count, not counter, dot text equals ns string string with format and then of course the format is almost the exact same thing but it still has the uh, percent sign and the i but over here it is now counter close that bracket and a semicolon Whoops, forgot both the uh, things there. So now we can go into the second view controller dot h and type in this uh, IB outlet UI label star score label semicolon. Next line int final score semicolon and then outside the uh, brace here just go ahead and write property whoops read write int final score I think Nope, that has the capital there. Um, what I was just checking is the uh, capitalized. I did not have that capitalized, so you need that capitalized. And of course, the semicolon in that. Um, that's it for the dot m. We can just go ahead and get rid of this and replace it with a synthesize. And then final score. And then the last line of code we need is for a void view will appear not did will um, bool and animate it open up the braces and close inside here just uh, we actually don't need that comment it was just uh, me telling you guys I can copy and paste it in if you would like to see it when you download the uh, project here um, but what we need to write is self um, and then a 
arrow. So a slash and then that. And then final score. Whoops. And then score. Blah. Sorry. Score label dot text equals open up one bracket ns string string with format and then the format is the at sign with the two quotations and then inside here it's the percent sign and a d not an i this time a d and close that quotation write a comma and then write self and now we make an arrow again with final score close that bracket and a semicolon now I do believe if we go back to the dot M that error should go away but it won't oh yes it did um, sorry about that let me just check what is going on here so that is the plus let me just copy this in to double check so okay so that obviously wasn't a opening bracket which I didn't realize um, that is it now we can run this on the not iPad the iPhone no we can't no 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 bad we have to go to the XIB file and import all of our things so we are going to need two labels one there one there one there and we are going to name both of them zero. Oops. Now we need two round rec buttons. We are going to name the first one taps. Sorry, tap. Center that. We're going to name this one ready question mark. So basically, it's a little game set up here. You tap this button, there's a countdown, or a countdown here. And the taps are shown there. So let's go ahead and connect everything. So go ahead and select files owner. Drag count to there. Seconds to there. And drag plus to there. And make sure it's uh, touch up inside. And ready to the ready button. Touch up inside. Now we can go to the other XIB file and just drag in a label you're gonna make that label humongous center it make it a fancy color font make it super big and change the font kind to noteworthy make it even a little bit bigger name this label zero and for the game, since it's centered, you can just extend that to the full length of the uh, view there. And now connect this in uh, by selecting Files Owner, Score Label. That is it. Now we can run it on the simulator. And if all goes well, um, the app will run perfectly first time around. Which, of course, it should. So, as you can see, there's our first, our second, uh, two labels, our tap, and our ready. When we select the ready, this should go to five and count down. Or not. Maybe we uh, did these wrong. Let me just go check. So I do believe we made a mistake on those two. Let me just check that. And if it's wrong, we can just go ahead with that. Nope, that is what the problem was. It was the delay was different. So what we want to do now is select ready. See how many times we can tap this button. My score was 23. As you can see, it displays it on uh, here. Now, of course, if you want the back button, I should have a tutorial. If I don't, really, it all it is is the delay without that. So this is how you go back in a 
thing, only it's not a void, it would be an IB action connected to a button. We need that. So it can turn into a fun game, if you uh, think about it, which is pretty cool. I hope this guy helps your games or any type of that, but usually it is mostly used for a game. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please go watch um, all my other videos for more Xcode tutorials and more. If you would need a requested video, I now am only taking requested videos um, from like serious things, like things not like so th much that I need to do like hours and hours of research on them, like normal things that would actually not only help you, but a lot of other people who are, are struggling with this. Um, you can only now, I'm only taking requests through my Skype, so if you don't have Skype, you need to create one. Sorry, not Skype, but uh, Facebook, and if you don't have Facebook, you need to uh, create one that way, and just go ahead and search up Cairo Apps on Facebook, and uh, write a request there, and I will have um, all requests in a queue. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Peace.